So in this video, we're going to be doing a full service on this Worcester Bosch CDI. So this is different to the Green Star where you've got the kebab heat exchanger and this one you've got the um, rectangular heat exchanger. You've got two points that you need to clean. First is the front plate and you've got the main burner up here. It looks like someone's already been here to change the electrodes which is good because the old ones have the sight gloss. Um, so if you ever come across those, make sure you change it for this style new electrodes because those sight glasses, they're prone to cracking and breaking under heat and then you're basically going to have a flamethrower coming out of there which you don't really want. So that's one thing that's been changed. I've got a new seal for this. I've got a new burner seal up here. I've got a new bearing plate for the fan if it needs it. Um, and yeah, we're just going to take it all apart, clean it out and see how we get on with it. So firstly, just drained out the boiler and now I'm going to recharge the expansion vessel. It's showing 0.7 bar in it at the moment, but we're just going to top it up a bit. Disconnect the electrodes, um, the NTC sensor overheats that, and now you literally just got one, two, 10 mil nuts. So we'll undo those and take this front plate off. All right, so those two removed, and that just comes off like that. And you've got a gasket here, which you need to change. And then some of the models come with this plate here. Some of them don't. I believe it's the higher kilowatt ones, which come with this additional plate. And that will clean it all out, flush it through there. That will then go down into the condens and we'll clean that out afterwards as well. So that's the part number for the servicing kit for these Worcester CDIs. If you want to make a note of that. So you've got the cleaning, uh, what's that, cleaning blade, I'd call it. It's got the little cleaning brush on it, and it also comes with a gasket. Where's it, where'd I put it? For the front bit there. And then this is your part number for the burner skin at the top. Flush it through some water, follow up with the brush attachment as well. And then just pour some water down there because all the debris We'll collect in there and then just wash that through the condens. Then you've got this brush one, so the same thing, just follow up and just try and get in as far as you can and just clean up all of the crap in there. Right, so that's all been cleaned up. Um, going to put the new seal on that, put that back together. Then we start taking off the main burner at the top and start cleaning and flushing through there as well. So the first thing to do when it comes to taking off this top burner is you've got these captive bolts here and you've got a little ring on it. Now you need to basically wind it out so this sort of key ring type ring comes off and then you can undo, you've got a 10mm bolt at the top and at the bottom. So you just hold one side so it doesn't move and then you can unwind that whole thing and come off. So we've got one two and then at the back you've got a bolt as well that needs to come out so these two bolts are out so what i tend to do is once i take them out i just make them back up and leave them at the top so you don't forget how they go back on now the one at the back is a 13 mil so you need to get a ratchet onto there i don't think this one's ever been serviced because that is dead tight now I believe that's a captive bolt so you don't need to take it all the way out, just enough so then, then you can lift the burner off and out. So we'll go ahead and do that and you've also got two 10mm bolts in here as well. Right so those two 10mm bolts have come out, the one at the back is loose enough so you don't need to take it all the way out. You can see that thread has gone all the way to the top. Now I've loosened this already so I should be able to just sort of tilt it and then pull it forward. He says, I probably need to loosen that bolt at the back a bit more. That bloody magnetic wristband doesn't help as it keeps sticking to the top. You don't want to lose that bolt at the back. Let's try that again now. <clears throat> Nearly there. I might have to use two hands for this, so let me get this out and I'll be right back. 
Right, that's the whole unit out. Just checking the bearing plate, which is in good nick. So that can go back in. I'll put that back together in just a moment. And now, let's see, that's not too hot. That's your burner. Oh, you can tell that's never been taken out because it is properly wedged in there. Prize it out. There we go. So I'm going to be changing the burner skin anyway. Right, let me get this out. Right, got the burner out. It's fairly clean. We'll give it a little dust and blow out. And then that's your main heat exchanger inside there. So we're going to give that a clean. There's not really much you can get down there there isn't like an access hatch at the top like you get with the green stars so best you can do is get a little brush clean around the edges and then just flush through with water now in the service pack you get another two of the key ring bits so don't worry if you damage the old ones taking them out now how do you know that you've done this tight enough well you can see the hole there that this key ring can go through that's how you know that you've done this tight enough because that needs to go through there and it will just sit there. Look at all that crap sitting in the bottom there. Don't want to be trying to put that down the sink. That's going straight in the bin, rinse that out, pop that back together and now we start our 26.9 checks.